Okay, here's the situation. There's a killer alien in town, and we're the only ones that know about it. We should tell the police. We could try, but I don't think they'll believe us. We could at least tell the park rangers that one of their guys was attacked in the woods. That makes sense. I think we should stop it ourselves. Who knows how many people that creature is going to kill before the police realize what's up? Any suggestions on how we're gonna do that? I was thinking of setting a trap. A bear trap. No one can escape a bear trap. I think it would be better if we could ensnare him with a strong net. He seems to have long limbs, so in my opinion, a net would be the more effective option. We could dig a big hole and cover it with leaves. Who do you think you are, Willie E. Coyote? Because your net idea is so much better! Please remind me, what are we trying to catch again? An alien or a shark? Gentlemen, please, there's no need to argue. Look, we don't know anything about this alien, except that it's all gangly and likes to stab people. Maybe we should take a blanket approach, you know? Cover all our bases. We can put together a bigger trap that uses all three ideas. The hole, the net, and the bear trap. At least if it fails, nobody can point fingers. Sounds fair to me. And don't worry about digging the hole. I'm sure the bull will help us with that. He owes me big time. Hi, kids. Hi, Ranger Troy. What are you doing up so late? What kind of trouble you got brewing this time? I'm guessing you wouldn't believe us. Isn't one of your rangers missing? No. Why do you ask? Someone attacked a ranger in the green woods. We saw it. This is something serious, kids. When did all this happen? Uh, I don't know. A few minutes ago? Gotcha. I knew you were messing with us. We're the only two rangers on the night shift. Right, Jack? Yep, you were right. You've got to believe us. The ranger we saw was blonde and skinny. There are no skinny rangers in South Plains. Can you at least call the central station and ask if someone was sent to check Green Woods? Mmm, okay. Samantha? <sighs> yes, Troy? Was someone sent to the Green Woods tonight? No, Troy. Did something happen? Nah, just some kids trying to prank me. Good night, Samantha. Good night, Troy. Are you happy now? We saw something weird in the woods. You shouldn't be alone in the woods at this time of year in the middle of the night. Unless you want to be wolf food. And you don't want to be wolf food. But we saw a big creature. A bear? No, it was more like an alien. I hope you're trying to play a prank on us. Otherwise, television is frying your brains. Can we take the bear trap? No, that is evidence. Can you lend it to us? We'll bring it back, we promise. No, I will not lend a bunch of kids an illegal trap that is... In fact, evidence in a very complicated case. So, I guess that if we ask you to lend us a shotgun, the answer would also be no, right? You guessed right. I told you the one with the glasses was a smart one. Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. Poor bear. Do you think the alien killed it? No, just buckshot. There are a number of diminutive entry wounds. The alien appears to kill via evisceration with claws. Great! Someone gave the alien a shotgun!
Hi, Earl. Hi, kids. Lovely not to be outside, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. So, what the hell are you doing on my property? We saw something in the woods and thought it may have headed this way. Hunting, huh? Look, I've no problem with you guys shooting around. But please be careful where you aim. I don't want to lose more cattle to gun accidents. You don't have any livestock left. Oh, yeah. It's true. I had to calibrate my new rifle last week. Well, at least don't shoot the pumpkins. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? Yep. What did you see? We're kids in my farm out of nowhere. No, I mean, have you seen any weird looking animals? Oh yeah, I saw a duck wearing a shoe. Can you believe it? What the hell was he doing with a shoe? It looked so goofy. It made me laugh so hard. Where did it go? To ducky heaven. Or to my fridge. You don't believe in God. Oh. Is that a fishing net? Yeah, but it's clean. Almost no fish stink on it. Can you lend us your fishing net? No, I'm using it. Besides, what do you want it for? To catch something with it? Let me think about it. No, I'm too comfy. Can you loan us some weapons? No, there are two things that a man should never let another person take from him. His weapon and his wife. That order of priority. I mean, if someone took your wife, it could be painful. But at least he can't shoot you in the face with her. How is the farm going? Not much to do on the farm at this time of year. So it's kind of boring. Don't you have any hobbies? I like hunting, but I already reached my quota. There's not much left to hunt around here. Don't you like anything else other than shooting innocent animals? Yeah, I also like fishing them. I usually fish at the farm stream. When the water level's been really low lately, there's nothing really worth fishing for when it's like that. Goodbye. See ya. Would you like a hand with that? No thanks. I've got it covered. Just need more length. I need a. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, I've seen you around. You're the kid next door, right? You live with the. Uh, uh, with the. With the old deaf lady. Yes, she is my grandmother. Her name is Ophelia. My name is Tony. And no, I'm not visiting her. I live with her. Cool. Well, that was a lot of information. So, uh, my name is Gary Wilson. You can call me Gary. I work in the video game industry. My wife is Victoria Wilson. I live with her, and she will kill me if I don't set up these Christmas lights tonight. I see you have a problem there. Yeah, I made a mess with this cable, and now I can't reach the plug with it. I think I need another extension cord. Don't you have enough cable there? Believe me, every time I try to untangle this, it just gets worse. Oh, this is just like some kind of anaconda cable. Have you seen something unusual tonight? Other than this extremely complicated mess, no, not really. Am I missing something? No, not really. But if you happen to see an alien creature, please tell us. I'll be sure to let you know. What video games have you made? Oh, well, I've made many games. The last game I was involved with was Maze Quest, The Stone World. There's real-life treasure for the players brave enough to beat it. 
That game is extremely unfair, and the clues it gives are insufficient to correctly solve a puzzle. No, 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 no. <laughs> you will realize there are subtle clues in the comics, toys, and cereals on how to beat the game. Do you know how expensive the comics, toys, and cereals are? Yep. That's why we made the game that way. I heard the game is impossible. You want to know how to beat it? Let's make a deal. You bring me an extension cord, and I'll tell you how to solve the unicorn riddle. Can you tell us how to find the unicorn too? No, I wasn't involved in that part of the game. But it can't be that hard. Is making video games as fun as it sounds? Yeah, making games is awesome! Do you like coding? No. Do you like doing art? No. Do you like repetitive stuff? No. Then, <laughs> you're not going to enjoy making games that much. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Plastic bags, foam, cardboard boxes... Hey! Here is a lovely Christmas red light bulb! This is not a Christmas light. It's an infrared light bulb. It even says it on the side. Yeah, I bought it by mistake. You can keep it if you want. Tubular. Why pink plastic flamingos in Christmas costumes? It doesn't make sense. I don't know. They look alright to me. This is a great movie! Did I tell you that it's based on the 60s short story, 8 o'clock in the morning? Yes. You already told me that. Many, many times. I liked the alien's costumes. It's Tony's computer. He's got some pretty cool games. It's a Commodore 64C. It's got a whole 64 kilobytes of RAM. All the memory anyone would ever need on a computer. I wish I had one of these at home. I would be playing all day long. I heard there are really good graphic adventures for personal computers. They're like a movie, but a video game. Nah, graphic adventures are lame. I like racing games. This game sucks. Landing on the carrier is almost impossible. Great idea. If the alien comes from space, chances are he's been exposed to all kinds of radiation. We should be able to detect him with this. Him? Or his spaceship? His ship, his pet, his socks. Anything that came from space should have higher rad levels than normal and set off the Geiger counter. The faster and louder it beeps, the closer you are to the radioactive source. <laughs> rad levels. May I have it? Yeah, sure. But I have to warn you, my cousin gave it to me because it's broken. Supposedly, when you turn it on, the screen just goes blue or white. I guess he wanted me to repair it, but I don't have anywhere to test it. I think your grandma is watching a soap opera. Oh yeah, she likes Malcolm Crest. Malcolm Crest sucks. You should tell her to watch Maria Maria and the Marias. You watch soap operas? No, my mom does. Diane is so bad. And so smart. And so hot. Why couldn't we find an alien like her? 
I remind you that she's an evil alien military scientist with intent to enslave mankind. I'd let her make it up to me. It's empty. It looks like it's empty. This reminds me of a Pony Show episode where there's a magical fridge that has a secret compartment, like the one I added here. Ta-da! Cool! What did you store here? A Pony and Co. Club ID? Why did you hide a Pony and Co. Club ID in a secret compartment? Are you mad? Do you know how hard it is to get one of these? Mm, not really. Very. Okay. The only thing left in here is my broken Polaroid camera. It's not broken anymore. I fixed it. Well, kinda. You can only take pictures and ambiances that are mainly illuminated by infrared lights, but it's better than nothing. Where are the rest of the things we usually store here? Oh yeah, I took some stuff home. I hope you don't mind. You even took my extra pair of glasses. Yeah, did you know that if you point them at the right angle on a sunny day, you could burn ants? So, this is what can happen when an experiment goes wrong. I don't know. It got us in a lot of trouble before. We may need to leverage this destructive power if we want to defeat a killer creature from outer space. Besides, it wasn't the sodium carbonate that blew up Mrs. Johnson's stuff. I mean, it was in part, but crafting that bomb took a lot of work and ingredients. It's quite inert at the moment. Go ahead, take it. These chemicals are always handy. I guess Mrs. Johnson is still mad at us after we blew up her garden. We never knew sodium could be so volatile. Gager counter started to beep. Hey, this thing is picking up something in the hedge. Let me see. Uh, no, more to the left. A bit more to the right. we got here what do we got here yeah what did we get I don't know a spear it has a weird shine to it this definitely came from outer space do you think it's linked to the alien I don't know it has some kind of button here I wonder what would happen if I pressed it He's gone. This is definitely linked to the alien. Whatever this is, he's looking for it. Okay. Now we have a way to call the alien's attention. Just don't touch that button again until we have set up our trap. <laughs> Even I know that's a beetle. Too bad this one's in really bad shape. It's a shame. This car is a classic.
Hello. Hi, guys. Why are you just sitting there? Waiting for my turn to use the telephone. This week's rotation to use the phone is Mom, Diane, Dad, Nick, Diane, Billy, Tom, Diane, Diane, and me. So I'm next in line. Why so many Dianes? Is that not unfair? It used to be just Diane. Believe me, it's much better now. Why do you want to use the telephone? I want to enjoy the delay to spontaneous comedy. What does he mean? He wants to make some prank calls. He takes this so seriously. He'll spend hours calling the same number. Who are you planning to call? Today it's the morgue, the funeral home, and the cemetery. This week has been all about dark humor. Yeah, it's starting to get old. If you have a number, I'm open to suggestions. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? The hamster was already dead when I arrived. What? Nothing! Goodbye! Bye, guys. Diane is Nick's only sister. She is super popular at school. You can even buy pictures of her. What? Nothing! Nothing! Hello! I'm trying to talk here. No, a friend of my brother. Yeah. No, the one that looks like a lizard. Hey, I'm still here. I'm on the phone. I thought I was the one who looked like a lizard. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? You also heard about that? Raul is dating Mary, but she doesn't know he was with his sister last week. But Mary made up with Raul's brother that same day. Everyone is talking about that. We were asking you about an alien. Well, maybe Raul's family's from Argentina, but it's still impolite to refer to people like that. Oh, forget about it. May I use the phone? No way. But Diane, it's something important. Uh, no freaking way. Wait your turn, like Kevin. Who are you talking to? None of your business. It's Rebecca Watterson, right? Tell her I said hi. My brother says hi. No, Nick. She asked me to tell you to stop stalking her. I don't stalk her. I have a friend that lives near her house. What friend? Um, Willie Wilson? That's like the worst made up name ever. Goodbye. It's Nick's family. In the picture, Nick's with his brothers, Billy, Tom, and Kevin, his sister, Diane, his mom, and his dad, who's sporting a totally convincing blonde toupee. It's just garbage, man. Believe me, if we throw something out, it's useless. Hello. Hello. Are you goblins? No. That's exactly what a goblin would say. Did you see anything unusual tonight? Let me try to remember. Oh, yeah! I remember I saw a fairy flying around today. A big mechanical killer fairy? Are you on something? God, there wasn't no mechanical killer fairy. It was just a regular fairy. What did it look like? She was made out of light and was about the size of a big apple. Where did you see it? He was flying around in the night sky and then he's somewhere around here. I was looking for her until you goblins showed up. 
Ah, you have discovered us. We are goblins. I knew it! Now please tell me, where did you hide your pot of gold? Those are leprechauns. What? The ones with the pot of gold? Those are leprechauns. Yeah, we don't even have a credit card. What is the point of talking to goblins if they don't have any gold? I don't know. We can tell you to burn stuff. Or you can help us to complete deeds for a big magical reward. I know how your magical rewards work. I'm not gonna help you goblins. Y'all try to cheat me. Are you drunk? L let me think about it. No. Well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm drunk. You know anything about the message on the wall? Yeah, it was meant to Morrison. You to be a nice guy. You to make some real good pasta. Eating his leftovers was always a delight. Then what happened? I don't know. One day he became a nut job. And believe me, my standards for defining a sane person are extremely low. Suddenly he believed in all kind of crazy conspiracies and weird mumbo jumbo. It is sad to see a man that can't differentiate between reality and fantasy. Why you ask? He steal your pot of gold? No, just curious. You do something other than drinking in the street? Mm. Well, I collect pony trading cards. Do you have the whole album? No, currently I only have two trading cards. One with a pink pony drinking tea. I already have that one. And another one with a naked girl riding a tiger. That's definitely not a pony trading card. That explained why those girls didn't want to trade cards with me. Goodbye. Goodbye, little goblins.